Hey, what's going on? We are sitting here swinging in front of Rachel's most recent rehab. This is the third rehab she's done, and she has figured out a way to make $65,000 profit of tax-free money on this rehab. So stay tuned to the end. We'll show you how she did it. Can't wait to show you. Oh. All right, guys, so we're going to go inside. I want to show you everything that we did. Today, we want to focus on what we did to add value to the property. I don't want to talk about kind of the boring stuff, the HVAC, the roof. We really want to show you how we added true value to this house. All right, let's go on in. Before you go in, please subscribe to our channel. If you get any value out of this video, please subscribe, like, and comment. I will personally reply to the comment. Let's go inside. So first thing I noticed when I walked in the house is the beautiful new luxury vinyl planks and paint on the wall, but that's not exciting. That's not, doesn't add a ton of value. Everybody's gonna paint and put new floors in. Let's talk about what you did here with this wall, because definitely opening up the space definitely adds value, functionality, and, and views for sure. So what do you, what'd you do here, Rach? So here, there used to be walls that went up all the way to the ceiling on both, between the stairwell here. Um, so we uh, had talked, we wanted to make it a little bit more of an open function for when you're in the kitchen to when you sit at the dining room table. So what we did is we just did a half wall. It was the most cost effective way to do it. So you could have done like railings or stuff like that, but we went with the quick and easy, easy way. Yeah, and I really like for some houses and some layouts, when you walk in to have a sight line too, especially if you have a brand new kitchen, that's a really, really valuable aspect of the house. And that's one of the most important things people look for in a house. So if you have a beautiful kitchen, being able to walk in and have somewhat of a sight line toward the kitchen, I think is, is exciting. Speaking of that awesome kitchen, let's go check it out. Let's go. This kitchen looks awesome, right? Thanks. You did a great job. You changed the layout a little bit. You did yep. a few things. Talk about what you did in here to add more space and to provide more value, having the open concept that everyone's looking for these days. So we really wanted to be able to provide a space that people could sit down, because in our mind, a family is going to be in here. And so they're going to want kids to be sitting at the bar or when you've got family that you're entertaining. You want to have this really nice island. So we decided to go with a six foot island. It fits the space really nicely. And since we opened up that half wall, like we talked about earlier it really gives a lot more open of a feel um, we got rid of the little pantry that was over there just because it wasn't really functional mm -hmm. so instead there's plenty of cabinet space to use for pantry space so yeah now when you sit here you have a sightline to the front door it's just wide open you can see yeah. all the way through um, to the other side of your living room so you basically sitting here we can see the front the side of your house we can see most of your house from this one vantage point yeah. which is awesome which is what people want. You still have some separation and some walls, but overall this is a great feel that I know any home buyer is really looking for these days. Just open space and nice, simple finishes like this. So good job. Yeah, Thank thanks, Sam. All right, let's get you down. So let's head into the bathrooms. I'm really anxious and excited and kind of nervous to see what you did in the master bath. Let's go to the hall bath first. And let's go in the master bath next. All right, let's see what we did. Let's do it. All right, Rach, what'd you do in here? This looks awesome. What'd you do in here? So really, we didn't change the layout at all in here, but we did put a brand new vanity, the granite countertops to make it look really nice, new toilet. We did some glass tile in here, um, which if you your contractor has never cut glass tile before, just make sure they have the right blade. So it did take us a little bit, but we love the glass tile. We love the look that it gave us. Um, give us a little pop of color that we were looking for. So yeah, not a whole lot we did in here, but tried to make some nice touches so people would really feel welcome and homey. A couple things I noticed sitting here is you guys did oil rub bronze finishes throughout the entire house, from the kitchen all the way to the bathrooms, up to the shower head, everything. And also, it looks to me like, tell me if I'm wrong, you did the same cabinets they kind of match the kitchen cabinets and the countertops in here, which I think is a great thing to have, um, you know, kind of fluidity throughout the whole house, have the, have the bathroom match the kitchen as far as vanity goes. Yeah, we really were intentional about making sure that everything looks the same, um, same granite, same countertop, same oil rubbed bronze throughout. So that was really important to us. All right, I'm nervous about checking out the master bath. Let's go check it out. Let's all right, so this looks awesome in here. So when you guys bought this house, it had a, um, a closet here with a door there, and the bathroom is about half the size. And then when we went in here, you guys had this cleared out, didn't quite know what you were doing with this open space. So let me know what you what you guys did and why you did it, and why, yeah, why you did it, because you think it add value to what you did. So the thought process that we had is that we really wanted a standing shower and we wanted a double vanity sink. So to me, a double vanity sink is important because I think they're really nice and necessary to have in a master bath or at least somewhere in the house when you're gonna have three to five people mm -hmm. at least living here. 
Um, so anyway, so we did a double vanity sink, made a shower. We got rid of the second closet, so there is no second closet at all. Uh, we just decided that it was good with one closet. It had a decent size enough. Awesome, this looks awesome. You did a great job. Let's head down to the basement and see what you did down there. Let's do it. So awesome, this is a huge open space down here. You got the same floors down here as you have upstairs, same color paint, so everything kind of flows together. So tell me a little bit about why you decided to finish this and, and what you did. So it was already finished a little bit, but if you remember, it had a lot of Christmas decorations. So anyway, so we cleaned it up, just painted it. We wanted it to look really clean and nice, just like the upstairs. So same floor, same paint. We did add a bunch of can lights in here. So before there was also not a lot of lighting. Um, so we wanted to make sure that it was bright for people to be able to entertain and do what they want down here. So we did a bunch of can light to make brighten it up. And yeah, that's I think it was awesome. Did. I think I think it's important that you took the space that was already there and just kind of refinished what was already there, yeah. and then you left some unfinished area because this is a big basement. This adds you know several hundred more square feet of living area, but you also have some unfinished areas for storage okay. and where the utilities are, which we're not going to show you because those aren't that exciting to look at. But this looks awesome. Something fun that a lot of people put in the comments on the first video is we did still keep the ceiling tiles up top and I think it looks awesome. Yeah, I think it looks great too. I think it looks great. So let's let's go outside where we're going to talk about the numbers and how you managed to do 65,000 tax free on a flip. Tax free. Doesn't happen very often. All right, let's go. Let's go. As I'm sitting here juggling that made me think can't juggle with two, but that's all right. You kind of did a little bit of juggling with properties um, to make that $65,000 of tax-free money. So why don't you explain how you did that and what you did, how you kind of juggled houses and made 65 grand tax-free money. All right, so we live down the street in our personal residence about five minutes from here. That was our first house that we rehabbed and fixed up. So we bought that house at a discount, oh, fixed it up. Keep going. And then we uh, were working on this house. Uh, fixing it up and we're like, man, this is a really nice house and a great area. It's got a great school district. It's just a really good neighborhood. And we were talking to a mentor of mine and he said, well, you know, Rachel, why don't you just move into it? And I said, we don't want to move. We like our tiny little 700 square foot house. And so anyway, so my husband and I, we basically, we ran the numbers to figure out what we would get if we sold our house versus if we sold this house right now. And we found out that, um, net we would make about 20 grand more by selling our personal residence and moving in here and upgrading houses and areas upgrading and houses doubling you know just getting tons of equity in this house um and so what we decided to do is also well let me back up so a factor that went into it is the housing market is hot right now i mean it is super hot and so therefore we were able to, we looked at the comps for what the ARV of our house is now, our personal residence, and we're like, holy cow, we can sell it for 40 grand more than what we ever thought we could make on it. And so therefore 30 grand. Um, so anyway, so we decided that we wanted to do a couple things to that house, get it listed, sold it, move in here. Awesome, so yeah, that was a great, great story there. Awesome, that was a great recap. So, kind of to recap, what she said was basically they were in the middle of rehabbing this house and the idea popped in their head because they had uh, flipped a property and lived in it before that had potential. I think this was probably, you know, bigger house than you were thinking you'd move into soon. Way bigger. And maybe a little more expensive, but yeah. the fact that you bought it at a discount, it gave you the options okay. to live in it and sell the house that you lived in for more than two years. So if you live in a personal residence for more than two years and you sell it, all your profit up to $250,000 per person if you're married. So 500 total, you can have tax free. So that's why that fifty or that $65,000 she made on her other house that she lived in for a few years was tax free. And then she bought this house and has a ton of equity in it now that she rehabbed it and doesn't have to pay tax on that equity because you're not taking, you're not using it right now. Yep, so basically exactly. she has a ton of equity not to pay tax on equity and then she didn't have to pay any taxes on her personal house that she sold. So it just kind of the timing worked out well and worked out perfect and now you're in a beautiful area, yep. a beautiful house um, with some beautiful dogs, if you didn't notice those. <laughs> and uh, it just- it Only just kind one of, of them's mine. It just kind of a kind of a win-win situation um, for everybody and worked out awesome and you okay. got, you know, you sold your house at probably the highest that it'll sell for in, in a long time there, your other one. So yep, good did. job, good on you. Do you want to talk about numbers and break yeah, those down real quick? Yep, let's go. All right, so. Tell, get, break down the numbers of this house, so everything from you know how much how much equity you have and all that. So we bought this house for one hundred sixty-eight thousand uh, dollars. The ARV that we were projecting when we bought it was two fifty, um, and that was our conservative ARV. And then we ended up putting in thirty-eight thousand dollars into this house, so it was actually six grand over budget. 
Surprise, um, surprise. I think when we chatted, I said you were going to go over budget. You did. So we were at 32, but we ended up going to 38, uh, which was fine. So, we so were, we're into the house for $206,000. Uh, so what we did is we went to um, a mortgage broker and we said, hey, we want to refinance out of our commercial loan that we have and get it into a long-term 30-year fixed loan. So anyway, so what we did is he came out, he said, all right, we're gonna have to do an appraisal. And I said, I told the appraiser I wanted 260 for the house. Uh, he walked it, he said he loved the house. He appraised it for 265. So therefore we get to get all of our money back from our rehab. So I get to take all that money back that we put into the rehab and we own a house for $206,000, but it's worth 265. So therefore we have $59,000 in equity in this house and I put no money down. And I got all my money back. I couldn't remember what else I did. <laughs> and she has a house that she lives in now, which is, you know, which is, is an awesome upgrade I for a nice house. That over doubled the square footage of our house. We're in a way nicer area, great school district. It's a, it's an awesome house. No money out of pocket for this current one she's living in. And she made 65 grand on her um, house that she lived in for a couple years. So that is just one of the powers of real estate is being able to have the flexibility to do things like this and divert from your original plane as long as you buy the house cheap knows because you bought it at a good enough yeah. discount it did give you multiple options had you not bought this cheap enough this plane wouldn't quite would have worked work. out so that is a great great story you did an awesome job give me one more high five we appreciate you guys watching thank you very much hopefully you got some value out of this if you did get some value we'd appreciate a subscription um, bottom right hand corner of this video you can just subscribe right over there and then also make sure to follow us on all our social medias and interact with us we love comments we love interaction we love to provide as much value for free as we can um, check out our other videos on our channel there's a ton of free information on our channel that can really help change the trajectory of your life and help you become financially free through real estate right rach yep love it thanks guys <laughs> We are sitting here swinging in front of Rachel's. You're gonna break the swing. <laughs> We're gonna do high five at the end too. Okay. All right. I'm ready. I'm gonna purposely miss your high five. All right. Okay. Good luck. You're gonna try to <laughs> hit it. You so should try to hit it. Try no, to hit I feel it like really we'll good. try to miss and then we'll hit it. All right. No, you try to hit it. All right. I'll All try. Right. We'll see what we got. So stay tuned to the end. We'll show you how she did it. Can't wait to show you. Oh. All right. That was on purpose. <laughs> I'm gonna get it. You weren't even gonna kinda try. I know, not at all. <laughs> See, I'm just like low balls. Are you ready? She's ready. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Stop it. Surfing. You need surfing. On the, the same. That's oil rubbed bronze. I did, I said the wrong thing. All right, start over. <laughs> all right, all right. A couple things I noticed sitting here is you guys did oil rubs. <laughs> All right, ready? Oil Rub rubbed bronze. bronze. In the bathroom, um, you know, up there in the, I can't, what is the name of that shower head? All right, one more time. <laughs> I'm a professional. All right. Well, just don't put your feet oh, down. Crazy. All right, because I got to be the shorter one. Can I have my weight? No, I. They didn't even catch that. There's no know, point. There's no point. No, you're good. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. She's. Maybe someday you'll juggle it. I can juggle. Oh, let's see it, Sam. I don't know how, though. But I, but I can figure it out. Oh, yeah, let's see it. Almost. I don't know how, but I think I can figure it out. Yeah. Yeah, I know, right? I can figure shit out. That was pretty good, actually. I'm impressed. All right, ready? Yeah. It's not like your lives. Tick tock live. How are the dances? I don't know the dances. I don't do them. I do this. All right, okay. All right. Oh, you're supposed to high five. Oh. Perfect.